I told my teacher when I was in secondary school, high school. So I, I had to tell her that, okay, this is what is happening. And because she noticed that um, I'm not always myself sometimes. And I don't, I think that that's part of the thing that makes me introverted, I guess, because I have learned not to share my feelings with anyone because of this kind of thing. So I had to tell her, open up to do a little that, okay, this is what is going on. And the words from her made me feel that, okay, after all, this is not the end of life. It comforted me and I started healing or feeling or feeling of and all that. Even at that, I couldn't still share my um, experience with some people because I don't want them feeling like, okay, this is what you have gone through. And you no, know, most people might actually feel sorry for you, but most people might feel like, okay, this, this is actually your photo. How would you? But then I was very young then, so I couldn't understand anything. It was just I don't know. So later on, I started someone in Korea to tell people and all that. I wouldn't want people to feel sorry for me or anything. It's something that is gone. But I noticed that um, as I told people, I, I felt better. So one thing I, I just noticed is that these people use this, um, this thing as a secret because they feel like when it is open up to people, that, those people might actually get help. So the first thing someone ought to do in, the, in that kind of situation is to open up. It might not be easy, trust me, it can't. Because you would live with the guilt of, oh, so this is what I did and all that. But opening up actually to the right person though, mm -hmm. not to anyone, opening up would make you feel light and less burdened. Opening up. And the reason I didn't open up to my parents then was not because they're not going to. I later opened up to them and they were like, why didn't I tell them all this? And I was like, <laughs> I I was introverted, so I couldn't just open up to any other person. I was scared and and all. So I think um, this is one of the um, area where parents come in. You should you should be able to to make your children confident. In you. They should be able to um, tell you anything anytime. You should make them feel at home and feel they need to um, talk to you. It happened to one of my roommates so when I was in my first year in school. She told me that um, she was she was raped by her boyfriend then. So I was like, how, how did you live with this and all that? So she was like, she told her mom that her mom is her best friend. I was like, wow, I, I actually wish I have that kind of person to um, I have that kind of person to um talk to. Not like my mom is not caring or, or, or something like that, but I just I <laughs> maybe it's because of this um, effect of what happened. I don't feel the need to just open up to someone. So she said she was able to open up to her mom and she got solution. They got the guy arrested and he had to pay for damages. So um, the first thing someone should learn to do is to open up. It won't be easy, but get a, a person that is very reliable, a trusted person that you could open up to. If not, the person will have to live in the guilt for many years. I lived in the guilt for many years before I could be able to open up to someone. And it just takes courage. It takes courage. And having the feeling like, okay, after all, I'm not alone in this. No, no. Well, there's a there's a uh, there's an advert uh, running on radio in in England or London at the moment. Uh, talks about abuse that happens to children, and it says specifically that your child won't open up to you. I mean, children don't open up to their parents about being bullied or something like that. And so, as the as the uh, crime becomes worse and, and more personal they're they're even less likely to uh, speak up to their close close parents um uh, there was a i posted a, a story there's a singer in the in the uk who was raped at 18 she's now 45 and it's taken her that long to come to terms with that experience and so for you to be as uh, as joyous as you are um is uh, uh, I, uh, I, i'm 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 speechless which is very rare for me um what do you think joseph so <sighs> So basically, there's something I'm noticing quite a lot. And what I'm noticing quite a lot is that some of the brightest people, some of the kindest people, some of the most helpful people have suffered terrible 
things that no person should have had to suffer in their life 